In the service menu, there are the following options. Firmware management, clear error, commutation settings for third-party motors or kit motors, such as linear motors or torque motors, established position data reference to set absolute position reference, brake check if the motor has a brake, or drive database functions. In firmware management, the firmware file can be updated. It shows the firmware in the drive. Click here to select the firmware file. Select compatible firmware file extension IBF. Let's select 20v26. Here you can see the selected file. To download the file, press download. I will not update the file because the selected file is the one in the drive. Nonetheless, this is how to update the firmware. Clear error will clear the error on the drive. It is also located on the toolbar. Commutation settings allows to set the commutation based on the type of motor or system available to you. Establish position data reference. Position data reference encoder one is for setting the absolute position. It will show a different screen if the encoder is absolute or if it requires homing. In this case, click on set absolute position for encoder one to set the absolute position. Brake check allows to check the brake if the motor has a holding brake. In drive database are the parameters to use as default parameters. If the install has an old database, like in this case, it can be updated by downloading the database from the link in the PowerPoint presentation. Unzip the file, find the file, drive database, extension .db3, and it will update the database, as seen here. I hope this information was useful, and thank you very much for your attention.